On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna take a look at primary and secondary air on burners. And we've got just the cutaway to give us kind of an inside view of what's happening. On the outside of a burner, the primary secondary air adjustments aren't always obvious. In this case, we've got a knob that we can slide forward and backwards, one on each side. And what we can't see from outside, but we can see from inside, is that's redirecting some of the air from the fan. And basically what we're determining is whether it goes through the section with the diffuser, which gives it spin, or whether it comes in the secondary air annulus, which gives us a more laminar flow. So let's take a quick look at that and then we can discuss a little bit more. Inside the head, when these knobs are fully forward, they obscure the secondary air and basically force all of the air through the diffuser. The benefit of that is it gives us more mixing energy because the more air go that goes through the diffuser, the more turbulent the flame is at that point. In the full back position, we divert some of that air outward and do a secondary annulus for air. And the benefit of that is that we get less turbulence. So if we were only gonna operate a burner at low fire, we might want it to go through the diffuser because we need as much mixing energy as possible. But if that becomes loud as we go to high fire, we might need to put more secondary air in so we get less turbulence in the flame um, because we've already got plenty of mixing energy. So balancing that between firing rates and, and sometimes that sleeve is even actuated allows us to optimize the fuel air mixture through the firing range. 